Although it looks like a typical airship, the level of technology in P-791 and the hybrid aircraft is quite sophisticated. For example, we use vectored thrusts, much like the F-35. Our thrust vectoring system moves in two axes, horizontal and vertical. That gives us 180 degrees of thrust in two directions. P-791 has multiple lobes. That allows us to generate lift more efficiently. P-791's airframe is built from high strength, lightweight, woven material that's heat sealed together to form an airtight chamber that's mostly filled with helium. On the bottom of the vehicle, we have four ACLS pads. The air cushion landing system enables us to take off and land from remote areas, including sand, snow, dirt, or even water. These environments don't require any infrastructure for takeoff and landing operations. Not only can we take off and land with the air cushion landing system, but it doubles in grip mode, allows the system to grab the ground and hold it even in shifting winds. So we don't need mooring towers or any sort of tie down as we do our change operations on the ground. This vehicle is unique. It's the only fly-by-wire hybrid airship in the world. We have traditional rotor pedals and we have a control stick with pitch roll and alternatively we can put yaw in from the control stick. There's really two areas where hybrid aircraft are most valuable. One is in intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance gathering because you can fly for a very long period of time without refueling. So for this vehicle, we would take off and land, fly for two to three weeks unrefueled, come back, refuel, possibly change sensors, and go back up again. That allows us to have fewer forward troops supporting the aircraft and also uses less fuel in the forward areas. The second mission area is in moving cargo. People like to move quickly as they're transported, but cargo doesn't matter so much. In cargo applications, the hybrid aircraft is really more like a fast ship than a slow airplane. The hybrid aircraft allows us to carry a wide variety of cargoes. As it scales up from its current size to three times, five times, or seven times this scale, the gondola expands so we can carry two to three hundred freight containers at a time. We can also carry tanks, helicopters, and other outsized military cargo. What's difficult about making an airship isn't the fact that you make a bag of helium lift something. That's relatively easy. What's difficult is making it useful. We've worked very hard to try to make this the most operable system possible. What we'd like to do is take this system to a 95, maybe 99% availability rate, much higher than existing airships, and also as high or higher than existing aircraft. 